Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Leo Chen Love Day Style. Back again with another workout video. Alright, I'm back again with my man Jake here. We are back. And that's what we're gonna focus on today. That's right. We're gonna do four killer exercises for your back. If you guys missed the first video of our series, make sure you check it out here. We cover our chest workout. So today we're going to be focusing on the back. We start from the bottom and work our way all the way up and develop this nice big V taper. So this first exercise we're going to start with is going to be a superset. A superset is actually a combination of two movements following one right after the other. The first we're going to do is the dumbbell suitcase deadlift. So named suitcase because it's going to be holding two suitcases in each hand. So to start with the suitcase deadlift, the feet are going to be about shoulder width apart. The reach for our dumbbells squatting to pick that up, not bending over. So I squat down, pick up my dumbbells, again squat, lift with my legs, not with my back, and hinge forward at the hips. And then for the superset portion, we're just gonna bring the weights in front of us and just shorten the range of motion Hips to knees, hips to knees, and you're really going to feel this at the very base of the back. And how you get that neutral spine, think like a linebacker in American football, that position of readiness where you're just kind of ready to pounce. That's going to give you that real neutral spine. Just as with any other exercise, we're always going to prime the muscles before I have a good warm up. I like to use bands, it's great, a lot of mobility, a lot of flexibility. Palms are down, elbows are nice and high. Just thinking about a concentration, muscles up prior to use, then I'm going to just rotate my palms forward, then I'm going to row a little bit lower. Right? Now I'm pulling my elbows down as opposed to keeping them up high, just waking up the muscles inside. Switch to a nice close grip, palms basically touching together, trying to make my shoulder blades meet each other in the back. Now let's go right into dumbbell rows. All right, so stacking, wrist, elbow, shoulder. This is paramount for this exercise because otherwise I'm all loose and don't want to using the lateral mirror to find my neutral spine. This front mirror is for show, but the lateral mirror is for work, always. So nice pull to the top, squeeze. We get a nice 12 to 15 reps of this. Really warm up this muscle and pump a lot of blood. So, number three, the supinated or underhand grip, seated row. What we're gonna do here is get a nice position, just like we're on a rower, stacking our shoulders above the hips, and we're gonna pull into the belly. We really wanna focus on this by pulling your elbows low and down, down and back. Elbows are close to the body, shoulders are tight and low. Last exercise of the day is the lateral pull down, which simulates the dead hang pull up, a tribute to my brothers and sisters in the United States Marine Corps. So we're gonna mount the bar, we're gonna basically look up at the bar. So imagine them hanging on the pull up bar, dead hang right now. How do I pull myself? Well, I'm gonna take my thumbs off the bar and hang just for my fingers. I don't wanna lose grip strength. I'm trying to squeeze the bar too tight with the closed fist. So I'm going to hang from my fingers, then I'm going to pull from my back straight down until my chin grazes over the bar, and then back up. All right, so now Leo's really moving some weight, so he's actually putting the fundamentals to the true test. Form's got to be perfect. Hope you guys enjoyed. 
enjoyed this video. That was a killer back exercise. Definitely feeling the lats right now. Thank you, my man, Jake, again. Make sure you follow him on Instagram, follow his channels. And if you guys have any questions about exercising, please leave it in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.